Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In the previous video of Stat Pro Basic, we have learned model generation. Those who have not seen the video on model generation, go and check that out. In this video, we will learn how to assign properties to your structure and the types of supports and how to assign the supports. This is our tower that I have made in the previous video. You see the 3D rendering, you see just some thin blue lines. It means there are no properties assigned. So how to assign a property? You are in the modeling tab, go to the general and you see the property tab here. The property, the section is nothing here. You have to add that section from there is a section database according to different codes and also define some section where you can add your own section circle rectangle t-shaped anything and you can also give what is the material of that for now we are going to the section database You see there is different codes. Let us go to the Indian code and I want to add the ISMB section to the columns and horizontal beams and bracing members will be of angle section. Let us give ISMB 350 to the column. Click on add. You see uh, the ISMB 350 is added here. Now search for angle section. Let 75, 75, 6 is the equal angle. And the ST selected ST means single angle. You can add uh, the double angle by clicking LD or SD. Uh, it means long leg back to back SD and LD means same for the equal angle this, this clear spacing is the gusset thick, uh, thickness of the double angle now we are adding a single angle Go, click on ST the 75 75 6 is selected and click on add the property has been added to the property stable now it's time to assign them to the structure select uh, the section and now select the beams select the members which are parallel to y go to select beams parallel to select, select uh, beams parallel to y the columns are selected now click on assign to selected beams and then click assign and yes the members are assigned the r1 means it is a reference zone as you see the, re the it is an uh, the first row so it, the reference is one so that it is showing r1 go to the 3d rendering to see uh, the columns are created but if you want to get the columns in uh, rotated in 90 degree so that you have to assign some beta angle to the member beta angle create beta angle angle in degrees 90 select the beta angle now again select the columns and assign to selected beams now you see the columns are rotated in the desired 90 degree direction. Now give uh, the other beams I am selecting the y direction beams and now select by inverse 
all the beams are selected now give all the beams 75 75 6 I want to give the top uh, outer beams some I section not angle section for that again uh, click on section database go to Indian let us give ISMB 150 select the beams I am changing the view selecting by window you see the outer beams are selected only and click assign when you assign the beams of a new section the previous assignment already get discarded you see the 75 75 6 is only showing to other beams now it is your tower the property assignment is um, done let us go to the support in the general tab you see there is support by default there is no support I have to create the support you see there is a fixed pinned and fixed bird support now what are the support types check these out there are three types of support pinned, roller and fixed. This pinned and fixed support are already in a stead but roller support is not there. Let us first understand what this support means. So what does this support means? This is a pin support. We are now talking about only X, Y, Z. Um, we are now talking about only X and Y pin, not in three direction. Only X and Y direction. This uh, support can't go in Y direction. This uh, movement in this direction is not allowed. Can uh, can neither go in this direction. It is also not allowed but the, it can rotate like this so this rotation is allowed so for a pin support you, you will get a value of fx also get a value of fy but the moment mz at that support will be zero for roller support Transition, um, the translation is direction not allowed, but the support can move in this direction. Rotation is also allowed. So for the roller support, if X, that is this is zero. If Y, there is a value, MZ, MZ will be zero. And for fixed support, Nothing is allowed, all are restrained, so there will be value of all forces. Now coming back to the stat. The effects, the restraint is all of this. You can't change this. It is the default by stat. Pin support, the moment is zero, but the restraint are FX, F1 and Z and a fixed but it is the support where you have the flexibility to release any reaction so let us try to create a roller support so in a roller support we have seen fx0 mz0 it is the rotation at that support is allowed so we are releasing these three if x the rollers uh, the roller support can move in x direction so there will be no effects 
So we are releasing fx. Now we are only talking about xy pen. So we are not considering fz. Now click on add. Click on the support. You can also use the use cursor to assign. Let us uh, give pin support to the others. Yes, the support assignment is this structure is just for giving an idea of how to assign properties and support the support condition structure may not be safe after design there may not be structural stability this is just for giving information how to do this assignment of structures and member properties hope you like this video stay tuned happy learning in the next video you will learn how to give the member specification the stress member assignment release of moment member offset etc stay updated stay subscribed and don't forget to like this video